Atlas, grand closing and grand opening. In just 24 hours, Boston Dynamics has stunned everyone with a passion for robots twice. First, the announcement that the Atlas robot project is shutting down. What a bummer. We even wrote a script and we're getting ready to release a farewell video with the most groovy robot in the world. But then came a new announcement. Turns out the company has been secretly developing a brand new robot for a year. And while it also seems to be named Atlas, it's not the robot you're used to. It looks like it doesn't have anything to do at all with the old version. What's going on? Why the change? How does it work? And what can it do? Let's find out. Ever since Boston Dynamics was founded, its goal has always been to create robots that are as agile and strong as humans and animals. And Atlas, who turned 10 last July, is no exception. Over the years, he has become the most famous and recognizable humanoid robot in the world, all thanks to Boston Dynamics' incredible YouTube videos. And behind these nifty tricks is some incredible work. Atlas is a true masterpiece of engineering. This robot is designed and calibrated to deliver the highest possible performance. Boston Dynamics motto is build it, break it, fix it for a reason. The robot has one of the most compact hydraulic systems in the world. This is what gives it such explosive power and incredible mobility. Atlas advanced control algorithms allow the robot to plan complex full body movements with its environment in mind. The balance between strength and weight is achieved by combining 3D printed parts made of titanium and aluminum. But the main highlight of the robot is its ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions literally on the fly. The robot constantly analyzes its position and the arrangement of surfaces around it. He calculates not just current movements, but sees how his journey will progress and corrects it in the moment so as not to fall. Although, judging by the latest video, there were a lot more falls than we previously thought. Still, the robot is fantastic. Yes, this robot has no cognitive intelligence, it doesn't understand tasks or circumstances, but it can navigate perfectly in space and keep its balance, controlling not only parts of the body, but also their inertia. Thanks to parkour and somersaults, the engineers figured out the robot's limits of its physical capabilities and achieved maximum optimization of the design and algorithms to squeeze the most out of every joint of the robot. By the way, we talked at length about the robot's design in our previous video found in the description. Dancing taught Atlas how to control every part of its body with precision and determined how accurate and agile it can be. Do you know how that happened? A guest choreographer and an artist came up with and created a dance animation for the robot. Atlas algorithms then tried to reproduce all the movements taking into account its physical limitations. Without the last step, as the developers say, the robot's success would be the same as if you were running through the woods blindfolded. And that's all they worked on for nine months, as if they were preparing for a delivery of something beautiful. Relatively recently, before announcing the project's closure, the company posted a few shorts with the description saying, Atlas can't trip. Our humanoid robot is getting ready for real work combining strength, perception, and mobility. The developers showed a new grip for the robot's arms and how it perceives the world around it. Everyone interested in robotics believed that Atlas had a bright future ahead of it, perhaps in the factories of Hyundai, which owns the Boston-based company. But instead of pushing forward with it, Boston Dynamics has decided to shut the project down. Why? One obvious reason is the need to move away from hydraulic actuators. So in the latest video about Atlas, the company showed among other things some sad moments when the robot starts to leak upon falling. And by the way, the developers painted the fluid in red, so that has its own effect. Also, the old Atlas cost a lot of money, rumored to be a million dollars. Such a project is extremely difficult to scale. Plus, the robot has never handled heavy or miniature objects, which speaks to certain limitations. All in all, the king is dead, long live the king. So, what do we know about the new robot? Well, new Atlas is powered by batteries and electric actuators. No more tangled hydraulics. 
According to the developers, it surpasses human capabilities in both strength and flexibility, and compared to its predecessor, the robot will be able to handle large car parts which we have not yet seen in Atlas competitors. The robot will not be geared towards regular human movement since their range of motion is somewhat limited. What we see when the robot in the video stands up looks more like a circus act. And get this, Atlas is intended to be a commercial product. Here's what the company says about it, quote, We are confident in our plan to not just create an impressive R&D project, but to offer a valuable solution. This journey will start with Hyundai. In addition to investing, the Hyundai team is creating a generation of automotive manufacturing facilities that will serve as an ideal testing ground for new Atlas applications. In the months and years ahead, we're excited to show what the world's most dynamic humanoid robot is truly capable of in the lab, in the factory, and in our lives." End quote. So game set and match competitors. Before this, everyone was sure the company was out of the commercial humanoid race. Now, that's about to change. Optimus, Figure One, Apollo, and other teams will have to compete with all the experience and expertise of Boston Dynamics. Unlike the last version, the new Atlas will finally be smarter. From the old robot, it will get all the modeling and control expertise with predictive models, and on top of that, it will get artificial intelligence and machine learning tools. Reinforcement learning and computer vision are now available to the robot as well, giving Atlas the ability to work efficiently and adapt to complex real-world situations. The robot also has a head on an articulated neck. They decided to add it primarily to communicate with humans. The head turning and lighting up gives an understanding of the robot's intentions, which is important when it works alongside humans. Interestingly, the developers had many options for the head and some of them were much closer to the original. Good old human head. The engineers though decided that it was too creepy and might scare away potential customers. So they opted for a friendly design, and it seems to borrow just a bit from the Pixar lamp. Don't you agree? Or what are you guys associated with? So what's another strength of the new Atlas? The fact that the Boston Dynamics team already has a lot of experience commercializing their products. The 1500 Spot robots have found their owners despite the fact that the market for them was not really out there. The Stretch robot had a clear market, but by selling it to customers, the company understood what they expected from the new product, including easy implementation and customization. And Hyundai's manufacturing facilities should also help the company produce Atlas at a reasonable price. First tests of the robot at Hyundai Motor Group's factories are scheduled for next year. What do you think of this news? We've parked a few links to the best videos about Atlas and other Boston Dynamics robots in the description below. Let us know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more news from the world of high tech.